Welcome back to the channel guys. On today's episode of GL Rest of Design, I'm gonna show you how to build a shipping crate. Um, so it's pretty, I say self-explanatory. Uh, it's a bunch of two by fours that's been cut down to strips. Um, they're all one and a half by one and a half. Um, and then I use Luon and then screws. So pretty much all you need for this whole project. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is measure how uh, or how you know how whatever you're shipping in my case i'm shipping a vanity it has to go from alabama to idaho um, and i've had a pretty good success on this um, so the first step um, I, I usually measure how wide the vanity is and then i add um, so the, the base um, i add inch and a half on one side inch and a half on the other so three inches plus um, i put foam in between the sides and the vanity so that's another three-fourths of an inch so inch and a half total so that's um, four and a half so just say five inches um, total for the width and then the back you do the same thing add in the foam dimensions um, and then the sides and then so that, that that's how you get your base um, so I start off you have to have uh, two by fours on the bottom um, for forklift to be able to get or forklift or pallet jack to be able to get put under it um, and then also put um, the inch and a half piece in the middle just to keep the forks from um, jamming up into the bottom of um, the vanity and damaging it um, so I ship my vanities uh, with the drawers face up so I don't have to worry about the drawers coming out um, but so once you get the base done like I said they're all inch and a half uh, two by four uh, cut down to strips um, and then, so I use Luon um, for the edging. You could use plywood if you wanted to. Um, I just have a whole bunch of Luon um, that I get. And so it's, it's easier for me to use Luon and then some old rough cut stuff. So I'm not out, you know, a whole lot for a crate. But so I, I use double layers for the Luon. Um, the first few crates I ever made, I used glue and I kind of realized I'm like, it's kind of pointless to use glue. Kind of a waste of time and money. Um, so I've, I've stopped using glue um, and I, I've still had you know a really good success uh, no damaged packages yet this came back um, but I just screw these down so I'll cut the glue on um, to fit the bottom um, and then cut another piece in my case I all my sheets were like four by four so I had to um, cut them to make them fit um, right uh, so while I have a second, I just want to say thank you for all the ones who have subscribed, but please subscribe to the channel, like, share the video, uh, leave me a comment below if you have any questions, concerns, um, you know, future videos, what you'd like to see. Um, so moving forward, um, you once you get the side done and then the bottom glue on, um, it's time to go on to the side. So again, I have the inch and a half material. And I have um, just some three inch screws. Um, and really, I mean, you're just making a big rectangle. You can put one support in the middle or you could put two. Um, I mean, it doesn't, it, it's really just, I guess it's just a preference. But I would say the longer the package is, you might want to put another one. Um, the shipping containers, from what I've been told, you can only ship um, up to an eight foot long piece. Uh, that means the crate can be up to eight foot um, but so again the here's the same concept as the the bottom was once you get the the two frames done uh, like I said the all four sides will be a rectangle you can go back and uh, lay the loo on down um, the first one you could use some trim nails if you just wanted to um, really, I mean, all of them, you could probably use some trim nails instead of some screws. Um, but so I just, I, I, I just, I just come to find the, the trim nails sometimes tend to, um, come out, you know, they, they will pull out a little more. So, so I, I just, I just end up using screws, you know, and just make sure that you charge accordingly for the, the shipping crate. Um, you know, I'll usually add in say, 150 bucks 200 bucks just for the shipping crate um, so that you know it gives me plenty of room for you know to use screws if I need to or, or, or you know travel expense to take it where it has to go or whatnot um, 
and then also so once you get that done uh, you get one side done um, just some more three inch screws uh, so you want to go from the top of the bottom piece um, down into the bottom crate um, I use just some torch screws just some some three inch torch screws um, and once you get this done really I mean it's just rinse and repeat for the whole thing uh, so you get the first one down I go ahead and I lay my I, I lay my item in there um, like I said in my case it's a it's a bathroom vanity um, and then so here before I used to use the whole sheet of foam and just let it on the bottom and then the, the top and the side and then I realized I was like I'm wasting a whole lot of foam uh, it's just the the big um, three-quarter uh, rectangle sheets the the four by eight sheets of uh, insulation is what I use so so I can realize you know I was wasting a whole lot <clears throat> so I just really cut me up uh, cut me up a bunch of strips after this point uh, under the bottom of it um, make sure you know you get it at the front the bottom and then um, the top is going to be the most important um, the sides each side will have a little cut of foam um, and then the top also will have a, a layer of foam um, and so what you could do <clears throat> you could do other things there as well too you could always do um, you know you could do paper you could do uh, you could probably do bubble wrap it's just it's just so much easier just to go buy you know a sheet of foam is like 10 bucks and you just cut it up and put it in there um, and like I said always always add in um, the, the extra shipping insurance um, to my to my price uh, you know it's usually it could be 20 bucks or it could be 50 bucks I usually just say 50 bucks for all the shipping prices <clears throat> because it's <clears throat> it's better to have it and not need it and then you know it one of these packages get lost or severely damaged and you know next thing you know is you're out two thousand dollars for you know a package so um, but uh, one thing I will say don't be scared to ship these things um, it, it can be quite intimidating but just jump right into it and learn uh, you know it's been a very high success um, you know it's a little bit extra work but no one else is is willing to do the extra work um, so you know it's really it's really paid off but um, so going back to the to the crate here and like I said it's all the same concept so the only difference between the sides um, is so I slid so the front and the back I made overlap um, the sides you could do this the other way I just this is the way I did this one um, so I get the side put in and then I'll run some three inch screws um, from through the bottom plate into the bottom of the, of the crate then I'll also put um, the three inch screws from the the front and the back side into the or, sorry the, the front and the back into the side um, just to really help secure this whole thing together um, you know it's not I think the the probably the biggest concern would be maybe them setting something on top um, but you know you can you can put labels on the top of it that you know tells them hey don't see anything on top of this um, or, you know usually in those shipping trucks um, you know they're, they're trying to pack as many thing pack as many items in there as they can Typically, I mean, they, they, they might not, but as long as you put the brace at the top, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the, the vanity really getting damaged any, as long as it's nice and snug um, inside, inside the box. But, um, so yeah, so once you get the sides done, um, it's, all the, it's, all, it's all the same concept. Uh, once you get the sides done, get those screwed in, both are the same. You can see me here. Um, and then so I lay another layer of foam just over the top before I actually throw the top on. Um, and like I said, that's just for protection to give it a little bit of extra cushion uh, between the top and those drawer handles or um, the top of the vanity itself. So once you get that done, uh, you can just simply set the top on 
Um, you can use the same screws to tie down the top. So I'll just go from the top just straight through this, uh, you know, put two, maybe three in each side. And then from there, probably the most important side, the you know, most important is I usually spray the fragile, the, you know, don't let it get wet, spray that all over it, um, you know, just so they know, hey, this thing's worked a lot, don't break it. Uh, but 